Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friend. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Come on in here. Oh, we're almost done with Psalm 119. Today, we're looking at the Shin Division, which is next in line to the very last one, the Tav Division. And so we're going to look at uh, at this division, this octenary, this week. It begins with verse 161 and goes all the way through to 168, which will leave us just a few more verses, and we'll have studied the entirety of Psalm 119. I have in my notes that this is the graduation party, a festival of God's Word. <laughs> so we're going to look at that this week. Um, and, and sure enough, we have in short order so many times the different ways that the psalmist has used language to describe God's Word. He's going to do it again here in this in this section. Today we're just looking at verse 161. So if you have your Bible, why don't you turn there with me? If you don't, I'll be glad to read for you. I know some are in their cars, they're in their homes, they can't get to a Bible, they don't have a Bible. So you you come into the Bible Bistro, and I promise I'll always be reading for you. Today we're going to read 161. Princes pursue me without a cause, but my heart stands in awe of thy word. King James has their princes have persecuted me without a cause. Pursue, persecute, persecute, or pursue rather is my translation. Persecute is the King James. My heart is in dread of your word. That's my translation for the B section of that couplet. King James has my heart stands in awe. So princes pursue me. Princes persecute me. What is that telling us? Well, we of course we know uh, if, if we as- assume that David wrote this, he had lots of princes that pursued him. You know, there were plenty of them. Philistines and Israelites alike were after him. And, of course, we know the story between David and Saul, and so that's that's one of them. But also, I think in a larger sense, this is really a description of the church in the world, because Princes always persecute without cause the people of God. And something that I think we need to be careful about and something we need to watch and see if it's present is when the church gets cozy with a government. It doesn't matter what kind of government it is, whether it's a government that's seated in a throne or a government that's seated in some sort of representative group, you know, an oligarchy or a congress or whatever it might be. So be careful of that. Because princes always persecute the church without a cause. They don't need a cause. We, we understand that. I mean, the Psalter starts out with, you know, why do the heathen rage and the peoples imagine a vain thing? Kings and men in authority gather themselves together and they say, let's break their bands from us. That's Psalm 2. So the princes and those in authority have always often been the greatest enemies of the gospel and of the people of God, both in the Old Testament and in the New Testament. So be very, very careful of friendship with the governments of the world because they are not a friend of the church. And it's been some of the deepest and strongest persecutions that the church has faced has been from government authorities. As a matter of fact, can we just say that it's always been that way? In very few times... There have been some times, but very few times has it been just another religion. Usually it's another religion backed by some governmental authority that empowers it with money and weapons to persecute the church. Here we have Princess Persumian. and it just tells us the reality of what we are in the world. Do not put your hopes in men. Do not put your hopes in governments. Do not put your hopes in organizations and democracies in whatever it might be. Because they're going to persecute you without a cause. They don't need a cause. Instead of that, what do we put our hope in? The Word of God. Our heart is steadfast in the Word of God. We are in awe of it. And so we should trust the promises made there to us by the Lord and not the promises made to us 
by men because that will never last. Well, join me tomorrow. We're going to look at 162 and 163 here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.